Alright guys, it's been a while, but we're doing another game review, and today we're looking at Sea of Craft. The devs were nice enough to actually email me and say, hey, check out this game. And I was like, really? And then I went and checked it out and was like, hey, this fits the channel. What is it? It's like Besieged, but on water. It's going to be familiar to anyone that's played anything like Trailmakers or Besieged, in that you'll be given various tasks you have to accomplish and parts that you're going to be able to add to your vehicle and you're going to construct a vehicle that can accomplish various tasks uh, this is just the demo which is available on steam right now it's still in production but essentially you're going to be able to build a variety of different boats using a variety of different parts um, it's going to be familiar to anyone that's played besieged you'll be able to program those parts with different controls um, it's a little bit like from the depths but a lot simpler and maybe not quite as ugly um, the game engine is a little bit bright looking and color saturated for Pirates of the Caribbean in my opinion, but it functions well, handles well, and actually the buoyancy and water physics are pretty solid, which isn't always an easy thing to do. So I didn't get too far in this, but we went through what there was in the demo, which is essentially lets you do some of the training missions, learn how to do some basic building, and then there is a sandbox boat that we'll get to here in a minute. Um, but it would be pretty fun to try and build some just absolutely massive battleships in a, as you can see, they're kind of wood is the general building block style of this. So I don't know if I would call it steampunk, but it definitely doesn't feel like you're building World War II dreadnoughts. It feels like you're making a combination of your kid's raft plus basic propellers. I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's not taking anything too serious. Now here you can see we're destroying viking longboats by ramming them with a sword as you do when you go to sea um so it's it's a game that's not taking itself too seriously has some silly challenges and if you're interested in you know the building genre of vehicle building and challenges then sea of craft might be for you and you can check out the demo for free right now on steam you can see here we've got some sort of like spin wheel motors giving us a lot more horsepower we've got a lot larger deck to work with so there's a variety of parts that are going to be coming down the pipe for you to build and play with. Yes, of course, no sea game would be complete without allowing you to put classic pirate-style 12-pounder cannons on your ship and glow, blow up other ships. Um, I'll keep an eye on this game, uh, see how it comes in uh, as it develops, and see if the devs shoot me a full copy or an early access so I can get you guys a sneak peek at what's going to be coming down the pipe. So as always, like and subscribe to stay up to date on the builder genre, vehicle, sim, field, because that's mostly what I cover here on the channel. Y'all be good, y'all stay safe out there, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Mr. G out.